Children's Hospital LA says it is seeing longer wait times in the ER as children with colds and other respiratory viruses are flooding in. KTLA's Lauren Lister is live outside the hospital with more on what doctors believe is behind the increase in ER visits. Lauren? Yeah, Sharon, Micah, one infectious disease expert telling me that typically flu season in L.A. County ends in April. They are seeing an increase in cases in children now, though, late May. And here at Children's Hospitals, officials say it's contributing to longer wait times for patients in the ER. This is our first time walking out since 2.30, arriving here at 2.33 in the morning. At noon, this family leaving the hospital after their four-year-old daughter, Sage, had an overnight seizure, sending them rushing to the emergency room at Children's Hospital LA. But really didn't, nothing was active until at least four or five hours after. I was very traumatized just from seeing my daughter go into like a seizure. And then we went in the ambulance, and I was really surprised that coming out of the ambulance, we didn't go directly in. When it comes to wait times, Children's Hospital in a statement revealing they are currently seeing a significant influx in respiratory and viral diseases, including the flu, in their emergency department, flagging these symptoms as warranting an ER visit. Fever lasting more than four to five days, significant changes in behavior, mental status, or activity level, signs of respiratory distress like profuse coughing or shortness of breath, and signs of dehydration. For less severe symptoms, they encourage families to contact their child's pediatrician. Right now, we are seeing an uptick in um, respiratory illnesses. Cedar Sinai reports their pediatricians right now are also seeing an uptick in kids coming in with colds, flu, and COVID 19. One theory the return to more normal life after a period of major precautions earlier in the pandemic. Our immune systems lie a bit dormant, um, especially kids. Now, as the restrictions have been lifted a bit, these viruses are given That's a little more of an opportunity okay. to uh, spread. Back at the Children's Hospital ER, he hurt his eye with a toy. This mom says their regular doctor wasn't an option given her son's injury that requires a specialist. I've been here about an hour, but they said that the wait is still two to four hours. It's normal, I guess, for emergency rooms. I mean, the, on the sign on the wall, it said six to eight hours. And Children's Hospital telling me they do screen patients when they arrive to the ER right away. They also have protocols in place to reassess patients as they wait in case they need treatment sooner. I want to clarify that here, the influx in the ER they're seeing is not COVID patients, but their general advice to families is to continue masking. That's the latest live here in East Hollywood. I'm Lauren Lister, KTLA 5 News.